if this test match this day of test cricket between england and pakistan in manchester does not compel you to know the value of test cricket nothing ever will this is how a historic day of test cricket panned out in manchester pakistan finished with a flurry England's very start but Butler and Wokes make history for England at the end of day three Pakistan's team mentor and spin bowling coach Mushtaq Ahmed said that if they could add 20 to 30 more runs to their overnight tally they would have a defendable score his boys on the morning of day four went out and added two more to that expected tally Pakistan adding 32 runs in just 16 legal deliveries on the morning of day 4 before being bowled out, setting England a historic 277 runs to chase. If England were to chase this on day 4, this would be the second highest total chased in the fourth innings at Old Trafford in test matches in all time. And England's start with the bat was very Rory Burns and Dom Sibley did not repeat their mistakes from the first innings. They were cautious in their approach, very watchful. Which is why, in the first hour or so, they didn't give a single wicket to Pakistan's pacers. But something had to give and it came in the form of none other than Mohammad Abbas slanting one into Rory Burns. Rory Burns trapped in his crease LBW. There was a review but it returned a bias call on hitting Rory Burns was gone and while he was walking back there were words exchanged you could tell that it was game on and game on it was Root and Dom Sibley this time around stitched together a partnership both of them very watchful taking England to lunch without any further damage on the other side of lunch though Root started accelerating hitting Yasser Shah for a couple of boundaries ensuring that that scoreboard was sticking but this change in momentum hampered how England were progressing because suddenly Dom Sibley at the other end realized he could hit a few and he tried hitting one flighted one outside off stump from Yasser Shah edging it straight to the slips. Pakistan had a much needed opening and one brought two for Pakistan as Naseem Shah got Joru to play at one outside the off stump. He was out caught in the slips but out in the middle were Ollie Pope and Ben Stokes, their highest scorer from the first innings and their fourth innings miracle man. But it wasn't going to be a day of miracles for Ben Stokes, who got a beauty and a ripper from Yasser Shah. One googly that kicked in from the rough, bounced, took his gloves and Rizwan caught a catch on rebound. The on-field call on that was not out but Rizwan was insistent that Stokes had gloved it. They went up with the review. Stokes was out England looking in all sorts of trouble and trouble only amplified as Ollie Pope also walked back soon after five down with still 160 runs to get it was all but done for England save only for it wasn't Josh Butler came out and started playing his attacking shots he knew that the ball was kicking off from a length on this track and anyone could have had his name on it and that is why he played his shots. Chris Wokes at the other end also saw Joss Butler and started attacking the two of them. Not only stitched together a partnership but also took the attack to the opposition. At T, England needed 110 runs to win with the momentum shifting towards their side slightly. Post T, the approach did not change. Butler was still his own self, hitting boundaries as was Chris Wokes. The two of them brought together their half century, stitched together a hundred plus stand and as the target kept approaching closer, you could see that Butler and Wokes were a little circumspect. Butler tried to reverse sweep one of Yasser Shah with England needing just 21 runs. He was caught in front of the wickets, out LBW, reviewed it, umpire's call on hitting Butler had to go still with 21 runs needed. There was tension in the ranks but Chris Wokes held his ground ensured that he saw his team through England gunning down 277 runs in a day making history in Manchester but also spare a thought for Joss Butler who was under the gun in the first innings after having dropped and missed stumpings of Shan Masood who went on to score a century from there to grabbing his second chance with both the hands and driving England home to victory 
This is the beauty of Test Cricket. That piece of scorecard is not just numbers, it is history and it's also, in a nutshell, what Test Cricket is all about. Second chances and grabbing your opportunities every time they come your way. So England go 1-0 up in the series in Manchester but Pakistan have truckloads of positives to take from this game as all action moves to Southampton where we will get you all the updates from every day's play right here in the Match Story.